The first part of this project is to import the 2D sketch of the guitar body. Links to where to find this drawing will be in the comment section below this video. So we're selecting the vintage strut body 62. And we can just pop it in the middle. Now we've got to scale it so that it is a one to one ratio in reality. So we've got to scale it up by a factor which we can't take from the drawing. Now we look for a simple dimension that we can easily measure there's one twelve and three quarters from there to there so we can put a line across and see how long the line is in reality oh before we do that we must make sure in the options that because all these dimensions are in inches we should make sure our units are inches also or imperial if you wish ah there we are metric so we've got to change that to imperial now I want to make this a bit more precise so we'll go to four decimal places for primary precision and we'll ok that now we're going to measure this dimension 12 and 3 quarters. We'll get in quite close so we can get more precision. So we'll choose a line tool up there and It's reading here. Oh, that's handy. Oh, I'm going to move it out the way. <laughs> We've got an angle line in the way of the dimension. I'll move off a bit. Right there, we see it is 0 0.5. Four three seven. I'll write that down. Zero point five four three seven. Now we've got to scale the drawing so that a line measured like that is now going to be 12 and 3 quarters or 12.75 so how do we do that well we've got a, a f so far I've, I have found no way of actually scaling a drawing directly in an exact way such as typing in the scale factor and blowing it up. The only way I have found is to put a bounding box on it which we can do using the rectangle tool. Select the body or I'll select the drawing and we can locate that corner. We've got to find the corner up here. See where those grid lines are cut off? Just go up to there and then across to the grid line that's cut off and we find that corner. So that's a bounding box around it. 
we can turn off the drawing to make things look easier. We now select the pull tool on the surface. With those selected, we now have access to <coughs> scale body. So we select it, and then it's asking us to pick an anchor point. Now we we'll see we've got an arrow at this corner here. We've got our anchor point. Now we can type type in some dimensions. Now we want to scale to 12.75 divided by good job I wrote this down 0.5437 return Select. Now we can switch on the image again. Select the image and it's way down here. Tiny little image. So by grabbing top right hand corner, if we if we just do that we can scale in all sorts of directions but hold the control key sorry shift key and we're scaling equal x and y so we've got to go up to now it doesn't snap so you've got to just get as close as you can yeah. now let's see if we measure this dimension again by drawing a line along it Point seven zero six. Well, it's not too bad, but with thickness of a line away. So we've got that reasonably to scale. Escape. Now that we've got that sorted out. In the next part, we're going to start drawing around this outline uh, using a, a spline curve to get a nice smooth contour around the guitar. So stay tuned again and see you later. Bye.